Nigeria has long been famous for its literary talent, with writers like Chinua Achebe and more recently Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie known the world over. Here at the International Literature Festival Dublin in Ireland, writer Olamide Popola and publisher Bibi Bikari Youssef discuss the past, present and future of Nigerian and African writing. I thought I could have a public press because I felt that it was not enough for Africans to tell their own stories, that we must own the means of production, we must control how the stories are generated, because whoever controls how the stories are generated also determines the circulation of those stories, the kind of stories that get chosen, selected or not. One of Cassava Republic's authors is Nigerian-German writer Olamide Popola, who makes use of her diverse background to create stories on themes of relationships and self-identity. I think it's definitely a time for diversity in literature. I think there's so much hunger for different voices that are not just coming from sort of the, the dominant, um, yeah, they're not just dominant voices or the Western canon that we've been used to. My new book, Like Water, Like Sea, touches on a lot of themes. So the all, most of your one is sort of grief, but I think there's, it's really about relationships and navigating relationships in a time when you're not very well, and motherhood and mental health. The diversity of stories and characters in African literature is something Cassava Republic strives to promote. What Kassar Republic has done is to say that through, the, through our curated list to show the sheer diversity of stories coming from the continent. And those stories come there from, from the secret of Baba Segi's wives by Baba, um, Lola Shunaye to Olum Nepopola talking about a trans character or talking about a bipolar woman in London. So really to broaden the idea of what an African story could be. Cassava Republic now hopes to expand its reach across Nigeria, Africa and the world.